I think most importantly is that we did a bottom-up approach and we did a lot of citizens engagement and we are not afraid to share our lessons learned or our failures uh, basically and as we were one of the first movers we had to get through a lot of difficult stages to, uh, to succeed and I think uh, one of the uh, success factors of Amsam Smart City is, is that's an open platform. An open platform is that it's basically a facilitating platform uh, which is financed by the Amsterdam Economic Board and Alliander, which is the electricity grid operator in uh, the Netherlands. So it's on arm's length uh, of the government, which makes it easier to take a bit of risk with uh, pilots or projects because it doesn't have the political uh, consequences immediately. And basically what we do is matchmaking. So somebody comes up with an idea, whether it's the government or a company or a borough or even a university, and we'll try to find the right partners. One of the things uh, which we did in Amsterdam is to deploy fiber to the home. So a fast consumer communication network and that gave especially the startup companies, uh, especially in gaming, the opportunity to work from anywhere in the city mm -hmm. and not being together anymore. Uh, the other thing uh, what we did is to reduce the commuting for uh, civil servants, so people who work in the physical, uh, physical planning, so like the infrastructure or the energy or uh, physical so planning I mean. department, they all have access to all government buildings that are related to it. So people do not have to communicate all the time anymore. The other thing what the CEO in the city of Amsterdam did is uh, putting a very bold statement and said we're going to reduce office space by a third. And I don't care how you do it, but you have to think differently about how people are working uh, together. So basically he shut down um, 70 buildings out of the 200 government buildings that are owned by the uh, city of uh, Amsterdam. And what you see, it, uh, because you, you give a playground uh, to a lot of uh, uh, small companies and startup companies, so it spreads the word and then people and companies are coming to, uh, uh, to Amsterdam. It's about sharing knowledge these days. Is, uh, knowledge and experience is the way forward. So instead of uh, inventing the wheel yourself, just come over to us and let's see where we can collaborate.